Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on this new powder that I've been wanting to try. A lot of people have been asking me to make a video about this product. I wanted to talk about this product because I wanted to try it for myself. So that's why I'm here. So if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Vicky. If you're not new, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna talk about the new Wouter powder. It is a um, setting like universal translucent type powder. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with setting powders and translucent powders because I have oily skin and in the summertime, I don't really like to wear a ton of makeup, but I still want to make my skin look nice. Um, but it looks like I don't have anything on, but I really do. They really help to give me like an even tone, even canvas for whatever I'm going to put on top of it, whether it be just a few things for a natural look or a full face. I use setting powder a lot and lately I've been obsessed with the Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep. If you guys don't know, I love to use that powder. I've been using it all summer. And so when I heard about the Wowder, I was like, I wonder if it's just as good. This is the packaging. This is the powder, this is the brush. I've already used the brush, which is why it's dirty. This is the packaging that it comes in. It comes in a travel pouch, both a travel pouch for the brush and for the powder. All Glossier products come in these travel pouches, so I think that's cool. So you get 0.25 ounces of powder plus the brush for $35. And it ships free, so it says that you're saving $7 with the Duo. The powder itself is $22, um, but I got the Duo just because other powders that I have like this, just by the packaging size itself, I have the Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in the color Dark. Um, this is 0.28 ounces. It's essentially the same type of packaging. Um, on the inside of the powder, it's got this little sifter. Studio Fix Powder has the same type of packaging. The Studio Fix Perfecting Powder is $28. So for $28, you are getting the same amount of product. Um, this one is 22, so you're saving yourself about six bucks. Other powder that I really love, the Laura Mercier powder in medium deep. This powder is a lot bigger, obviously. You're getting over double the amount. This is one full ounce of powder. The Laura Mercier powder runs for $38. But of course you're getting more product, so that is probably why. And then the Velour Puff is $15 that goes with the Laura Mercier powder, just so you know. Now that I have those pricings and sizes, all of that, we're gonna talk about the actual application itself. I am gonna be putting the powder on so that you guys can see what it looks like and how it applies. But just in case you're wondering, I am wearing my uh, SPF by Glossier. This is the SPF daily sunscreen. I personally like to use my powder before I do anything else to kind of give me like a even canvas just to see what I need to do. Like if I need more um, coverage in any, any spots or anything um, or if I'm just gonna wear like a normal natural everyday look. So this powder comes in three different colors. It comes in light, um, deep, dark, and rich. This is deep dark. Um, so I'm the middle color. Deep Dark works for a lot of different shades though. I've seen Deep Dark applied on like medium tone people. But as you can see, the powder is like velvety. The powder applies very velvety smooth. Um, hopefully it covers up this redness from me scratching my nose. The Laura Mercier powder, however, has not come out with any, they haven't come out with any more new shades. So it's only the translucent color and then the medium deep color. So what I noticed about the, the Laura Mercier powder is that most dark skinned women can get away with wearing it all over their face. Um, however, I feel like on really, really dark women, it probably wouldn't work for all over the face. You'd probably just use it to set your under eyes or something like that. Um, but for me personally, I cannot use it to set my under eyes because it is a little too dark for that um, if I'm trying to highlight. So I only can use that all over my face. This to me is not as dark as the Laura Mercier powder. In fact, I feel like the Laura Mercier powder is a little bit more warm. It's on the warmer side. This one's on the more neutral side, which I don't mind because I feel like come winter, fall time, fall, winter time, once my skin starts lightening up a bit from, you know, not being tanned and going outside, um, I feel like this powder will transition better into the fall, winter time than the Laura Mercier powder does. This powder is very, very, very lightweight very lightweight, like I I can't feel it. 
you can see that it does give me a little bit of like not coverage i don't want to say coverage because it's not covering my dark spots this kind of gives it a little bit of life just a tiny bit so from here i could go in with a foundation i could go in with my concealer and just do concealer if i wanted to have a light amount of coverage for every day but i feel like this is like a good start there is a deeper shade in this so if you are darker than me there is a darker shade for you um whereas the laura mercier powder is kind of just a universal thing but i also i feel like with this powder you have a little bit less commitment to make because it's only 22 dollars as opposed to spending 38 dollars on a full one ounce of powder that you'll probably take a long time to get through i'm going to use this uh, powder puff with this to see how it sits on my face like i said it is not as warm and it is not as dark as laura mercier powder tends to be on me this is laura mercier as you can see laura mercier powder is very 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 warm so if you're not a warm tone person this powder might not work for you so for people with cooler undertones you're going to want to go with a powder like this if you have uh, warmer undertones, you will wanna go with this one. Um, but like I said, the Laura Mercier powder only comes in one deep shade. This powder is good for me when I'm tan in the summertime, but like I said, I feel like transitioning into the wintertime, my skin is not gonna go well with this. We'll have to see, but I'm feeling like that's what's gonna hit me. Let me also compare it to the um, Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Deep by Cover Effects. I don't use this powder a lot. This is how much? How how much is this? This is 0.35 ounces, a little less than the Laura Mercier. I don't use this powder because to me it's way too it's not dark, but it makes me look burnt. I'm not sure what the undertone on this is. So to me, this looks a lot like the Wilder powder, but it's a little bit deeper. I don't know what the rich powder looks like, the Wilder Rich powder. Um, so if any of you have tried it, let me know what you think about the undertone. Um, but this is what we're working with here. Okay, so I've wiped away all the powder. And as you can see, this side, you probably can't really tell. It's not that huge of a difference. This one is a little bit darker and a little bit more warm. So just depending on what kind of look you're going for, that's what you're working with. So if I didn't own either of these powders and I wanted to, and I tried them both and wanted to see which one I was going to purchase, um, I know my skin is different in the fall winter time than it is in the summertime and this one is gonna work a lot better for me in the winter I, I can already tell however this one has been my summer holy grail so I mean I guess it just depends on what you're trying to do but it definitely depends on your skin color your undertone what you think I don't know do I think this is worth the money yes do i think this one is worth the money yes so like i mean i guess it just depends on your personal preferences to me having this is a little bit inconvenient sometimes just because it's really really big it's hard to travel with it doesn't really fit into small places like i would want it to this one i see i feel like would fit into smaller compartments better so that if you did want to travel this is a little bit easier to travel with and I feel like the duo is cheaper than this, so you're kind of getting a good deal. If you don't have a brush, of course, but most of you who wear makeup probably do have a brush to apply it. But if you are a beginner, then having a brush to come with it is kind of like convenient too. So $35 to me is not super, it's not that bad because if you think about it, if you go to the store and get a setting powder, it's gonna run you for around $10 at the grocery, like at, you know, Target or Ulta or something like that. If you get an inexpensive, powder it'll probably be around seven to fifteen dollars depending on the brand and then a brush is going to be around ten dollars a good brush probably going to be around ten dot ten to fifteen dollars for a good powder brush so i mean you're kind of spending the same amount of money you know it just depends on what and how you want to spend your money um you guys if you've tried it let me know what you think but my first and well, my second impression of it is that it's pretty good i'm going to keep using it I like it and I do think it's worth the money. It's a really nice powder. Um, from wearing it all day the other day, I really liked it. Um, I did get oily, but I wasn't too concerned about that because it's not to stop the oils, but it did hold up well. It didn't like look weird later throughout the day. It still looked like my skin. It still looked normal. Um, I looked like I woke up like that. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was, it, I hope it was informative for you. 
And um, that's all. Leave me questions if you have questions. Um, leave a comment if you just wanna say something nice. And make sure you subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys in my next video, okay?